Hi everyone, welcome to the IoT Hero Show, my weekly showcase of thought leadership on the Internet of Things. My name is Tom Raftery, I'm the Global IoT Evangelist for SAP, and now, on with the show. Hi everyone, welcome to the IoT Hero Show. My name is Tom Raftery, I'm Global IoT Evangelist for SAP, and we have a very special show today because the guest on the show today is Dr. Tanya Reukert. Uh, Tanya, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, happy to. Thanks, Tom, for the opportunity. My name is Tanya, Tanya Rückert, and I'm at SAP, globally responsible for the topic of Internet of Things. It includes Industry 4.0, but also all impacted IoT-enabled supply chain solutions like manufacturing, like warehouse, like transportation. Okay, great. Now, Tanya, one of the reasons I wanted to have you on the show is that in the last week, SAP have made a huge announcement around the Internet of Things, the SAP Leonardo announcement. And it was a, it was a, a reasonably complex announcement, so I'd like to try and unpick it uh, w- with you piece by piece. Uh, there, there were three main components to the announcement. I mean, the first was the, 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 the uh, announcement of the Leonardo brand. The, the second was the Jumpstart program, and the third was the uh, the Leonardo event, which is going to take place this coming July. If if we could take them in in that order, if we could start off with the Leonardo brand first and uh, chat a little about that. What what was the thinking behind the Leonardo brand? Why is the brand necessary, and and, and why Leonardo? I think it's very important. It's a continuation of SAP's commitment to the area of Internet of Things. Some of you might remember that last September we said that we will have 2 billion euro investment until 2020. And this goes into portfolio. It goes into implementation services, a partner ecosystem. And it also is building our overall portfolio organically and and, and organically. And, And this portfolio evolved significantly over the last month. And we said it's now a good time to make sure that we bring all elements together and have it under a single brand. That's SAP Leonardo. And it goes from the edge, from the device. And you know that 45% of all IoT data will be generated and analyzed at the edge going forward. And it goes via our HANA Cloud platform, the foundation of Leonardo, which gives you some real services like a thing model, like onboarding services. And on top, pre-packaged standardized solution for assets, for products, but also goes even beyond the asset-heavy industry to infrastructure markets and people and make sure that it's an easy-to-use uh, user interface with semantic correlation between the different solutions. So I think you, you say it's a brand, but it's also a, a portfolio, a comprehensive portfolio covering um, our offering going from the thing through to the business process and also business model. Okay. Maybe one word about why Leonardo. Yeah. Um, and the funny thing is when I, when I shared it at home also with, with the kids that we now have a brand, Leonardo, their reaction was, unfortunately, Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> which was obviously <laughs> never, <laughs> was never the intention we have. <laughs> Hopefully everybody on the podcast know immediately that it's about Leonardo da Vinci. And what was very important to us that he's a multidiscipline. So he's often known for his paintings, but he's a science mathematician. And as I said, some major innovations also still relevant in our time came from him. And that's why we have chosen his name um, to be re- um, kind of the motto for our portfolio and our IoT offering. Okay. And h- how important is it, do you think, to actually have a brand? The brand helps to um, show it as a complete picture, as, as a complete end-to-end offering. Sometimes if you don't have a brand or brand family here with SAP Leonardo going from the edge through the different application and solutions, you, you pick then one solution, say a predictive maintenance and service for the assets, and people think, oh, that's it. Ah, SAP is doing something for the assets. But this is then connected to, to the logistics and the transportation and can go also deep down to the t- uh, shop floor. And I think that this is a comprehensive end-to-end portfolio. Their brand absolutely helps. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. And, I mean, 
moving on from the just the the, the 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 initial part of the announcement, the branding onto the 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 next stage of the announcement was the uh, Jumpstart program. Uh, can you can you explain to people who are listening who might not have read about it what is the Jumpstart program? Yeah, happy to. So I think it's a different way of engaging with all our customers. It's making Leonardo IoT tangible in a very short time frame. And it's a three steps to outcome program. It starts with a design thinking workshop half a day. And then within one week, we already have the first prototype running with your data. And then we take, say, around two months where we make it a productive pilot, which where you can go to implementation, or you can further refine it. But within two months, you have something you cannot only show. So not only a showcase, but something you can also implement. And we realized, um, and that's why we came up with this program, that there's a high desire from our customers to really have something tangible with their own data to see, feel it, can show it also to their leadership and especially also to the people working on it and convince them and um, have a first understanding of the business KPIs and the business benefits, which are part of the offering as well. Okay. And I mean... One of the one of the things that struck a few people that I spoke to about the announcement was that it's it's a fixed price as well. So there's no there's no sense of sticker shock. There's no you know people know what they're getting into when they when they sign up for this. Yeah, you know that also SAP, as you all know, is a software company. So we are not making money in long implementation cycles and so on and so forth. And and we want to make sure that this comes across. It's not we don't want to make money with the Jumpstart program. We just want to give all our customers a chance to get a immediate feeling, touch an, um, and tangible idea what is the outcome, um, but with a fixed price. So no risk in that it's exploding in costs, no risk that it's exploding from a time frame. And that's the reason why we made it, as you said, in, in a very sticky, um, structured um, way. Yeah, and it, it, I think it's nice timing as well because I think, you know, it's the start of 2017. There's been a lot of talk about the Internet of Things and I think a lot of companies are kind of casting about at this point looking for a way to actually get into it. So I think this is this is nice timing. It's it's a nice structure. I, I, I have to think that this is going to be quite a popular program. It absolutely is. I think we launched it now at our sales kickoffs. I had the opportunity to test it already with the one or the other customer and partner, and the reaction was phenomenal. First of all, already on the portfolio and the brand, they said it will help partners, for example, help them position the SAP portfolio. It's much easier to have a whole solution portfolio with a brand and having maybe individual products. And for our customers, I said, that's exactly what they need. They sometimes don't know where to start, where is the highest value. We help them in a workshop to identify this. We help them so that they see immediately if the impact is so high, as well as define the right um, business KPIs with the baselining and then be able to show it in, in a tangible way so everybody else can show it, for example, the customers themselves to their board. So we get, uh, as you said, um, timing was perfect. Um, as the time of the co-innovations and proof of concepts are over, we now want to get real. And for getting real, you need to have a very engaging um, program at the beginning, what we have with Jumpstart program. Excellent. And you mentioned partners. Are, are the partners going to be involved in, in this? Absolutely. I think we, we now started with um, sharing it with a few, but we um, plan to scale um, with a broader partner ecosystem going forward. Okay, great. And uh, the the packaged solutions that uh, Leonardo has, I mean, they're, they're, there's, there's a slew of them going across connected products, connected assets, connected fleets. Um, are, are, are they broadly, do you think? Are they, are, they, are they covering most of the ground that people will require? I think if, if you look at the field of IoT and, and here Leonardo from our side, you, you have different views. One is um, our portfolio, which comes more from thing view, where we start products, assets, fleets, yeah, and then goes infrastructure, markets, and people. But you can also apply them to the different line of business, where we have the highest impact for the digital supply chain, which is fully Leonardo enabled, and it will also go in further line of business as well as in industries. When we go back to our IoT and Leonardo portfolio, 
it's exactly and and those solutions you have here like connected products they are available and they are fully integrated as well as connected assets and if you look what products are behind like the fixed asset insights this our predictive maintenance and service solution but it's also our facebook of machines our asset intelligence network and so it kind of you can drill down what are the actual products behind but you can also stay on the higher level and how those different solutions coming from thing few products assets fleets are integrated with each other and are sharing the data with each other to um, enable collaboration between the silo groups okay and uh, th there are four uh, kind of packaged solutions available in, in Q1. There's connected goods, vehicle insights, predictive maintenance, and the asset intelligence network that you referred to. Uh, are, are there plans to go beyond that in, in the, the uh, Q2, Q3, and so on? Yeah, yeah. I think that's a very good question. Obviously, there are plans to go beyond. <laughs> but if you start, you, you, you often start small. Yeah. So we picked the solution where we have a high demand from our customers and where we see this need to show it tangible with customer data. So this need where we have the highest demand, we have chosen them first. So you mentioned connected goods, predictive maintenance. I think it's clear to everybody it has asset health, it has lifetime extension, asset intelligence network where all information of an asset, independent if you're a manufacturer, a service um, operator, and so on, you can all access them. And I think Vehicle Insights is in the area of connected fleets. So I think those are solutions as, as a startup. But we have many more Leonardo products already available. And we already um, kind of said, for example, track and trace as a solution. We add in Q2, and, and there will be more we will be adding throughout the year, assuming the program is as successful as we um, predict. Okay, cool. And... Uh, I, I guess the, 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 the last thing then uh, that we'll talk about is the event, the, the, um, the Leonardo event that's scheduled for July of this year. Uh, wh what's the thinking behind that? Why do we need another event? I believe it's, it's nice, um, Tom, that you give me the chance to give our customers and partners an update here. But I believe of more powerful is to hear it directly from that the customer here from, from their peers, a partner here from another partner or from a customer. And one of our goals is at the anchor, at this bigger event is not only that we can share where are we going, what are our future innovations, where do we see overall the future of digital transformation and how we can win, but it's also very important to let our customers speak. What is their experience? What, what were maybe also some obstacles? What is their vision? What is their end state? And similar, how can our partners support um, the customer community? And I think to bring this broader community together has a high value for everybody who participates. Lovely, great. Um, that's fantastic. Uh, be before we before we uh, finish up, Tanya, is there is there any uh, anything that I uh, should have asked that I haven't asked, or anything that you want to uh, bring up that I should have uh, I should have asked you? No, I think you structured it very nicely. I think what, what is important for us, what we want to bring with Leonardo to our customer is that we may create value out of the data at the thing because there is no value in the data itself. You need to work on the data. You need to make them more intelligent. You need to apply machine learning. You need to identify the patterns and then bring them into the business processes, reinvent the business model and have a different way of interaction and make this a continuous model so that the system is a learning system, gets adaptive, gets more intelligent every time we add a data point. And this is what we offer with SAP Leonardo. Excellent. Excellent. Tanya, where can people find you online if, if they want to uh, follow you more and, and learn more about Leonardo? I think we have, let's go away from the, from the person for a second, <laughs> we have more information on SAP Leonardo on, on our sap.com webpage, um, everybody who wants to get more information. And then obviously I'm looking forward, everybody who wants to connect, if it's a LinkedIn or Twitter, I'm, I'm very interested to get in contact with each and everyone out there who's listening. Super, super, great. Okay, uh, that's been fantastic, Tanya. Thanks a million for coming on the show. Mm -hmm.